Let me demonstrate why this exercise is important. It's important to understand why we're doing the exercises we're doing. I don't want you to just do them just because we say to do them. I want you to completely understand why we're doing these exercises, okay? Now, you remember we talked about the emergency brake, okay? The two parts to the emergency brake. One, being able to pull up and have your horse flex, and two, is being able to yield the hindquarters, to disengage the hindquarters, okay? The touch and rub exercise helps with the disengaging of the hindquarters so that when you put your boot back on their flank, they'll move off that pressure. See her hindquarters disengage? See that? That's really important. If your horse goes to start bucking or bolting or starts to rear, pull their head around and you can yield that hindquarters. They cannot buck, bolt, or rear when that hindquarters are disengaged. That's why this exercise is so important. The more sensitive they are to moving off of your boot, when you put your boot back there, the better they'll be at yielding those hindquarters. Does that make sense? When you touch your horse's flank with your thumb, if they do not move off that pressure, what I want you to do is take, if you have a lead rope or a riding crop or something that you can tap, their, tap the hindquarters with, just tap it with rhythm until they move. First you just want one step and then rub them to a stop, okay? So when you, when you push in with your thumb, press in with your thumb, wait till they yield, and as soon as they move their foot and start yielding, rub it with your other hand and rub and keep rubbing until they stop moving their feet. Okay, Bridget, you want to demonstrate that? <laughs>